Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to climb a rope. So there are two methods for this. The S method and the wraparound method. First I'm going to demonstrate the S method, then I'm going to come back down, do the explanation, and then I'll do the same for the wraparound method. But before we get started, make sure that you are slick. So you cannot be wearing a watch or jewelry. So make sure to not have a timepiece, put your timepiece away, no necklace, no bracelet, nothing in your pockets either, no rings either. Okay? Alright, so here goes for the S method. down make sure that you do hand over hand just like this they do not slide down like this all right you'll give yourself rope burn so hand over hand all the way down okay so now for the explanation first thing you want to do is jump as high as you can and grab the rope then you bring yourself up crunch keep the rope on the outside of your foot sweep with the other foot bring on the first foot and lock so you see I do not need my hands to hold myself up now I'm putting the pressure on the top boot right over here. This is what's holding the lock. Now what I gotta do is push with my legs. I do not need my arms to push myself up. And then I repeat. Pull my arms, crunch, sweep, lock, and repeat. Okay? So all I gotta do is do that over and over again. The way it works is pull on your arms, lock, push on your legs. Pull on your arms, Lock, push with your legs, okay? So all the way to the top. And then on the way down, all you gotta do is release that lock. Bring the, the boot side to side, just like this. To lock, you bring it on top like this. To come down, just add friction, resistance, bring it to the side. You can also spread your legs out like this to loosen the lock. Okay, so. That concludes the S method. Now for the wraparound method. I'm gonna do the, de the demonstration, then I'll do the explanation. So here he goes. Hand over hand on the way down. This is so. Okay, now for the explanation. So, first thing you gotta do is jump as high as you can and grab the rope. Pull yourself up, have the rope between your legs, wrap it, bring it up around and atop, on top of the other boot, the boot, and then lock. Push with your legs. Bring your arms up, pull and then lock, pull, and then lock. Feet all the way to the top. Now all the way down, all you gotta do is release that lock. So this foot right over here is the lock. All I gotta do is apply less pressure to come down, just as so. Okay guys, so that concludes the wraparound method. So just make sure that whatever method you use, you stick with it. You cannot change method uh, at the top. So for instance, I personally prefer the S method. I think it's a better lock, but I do prefer the wraparound method to come down. I think it's a smoother ride on the way down. However, you're not allowed to change locks when you're on the rope. So if you start with the S method, you gotta come back down with the S method. If you start with the wraparound method, you gotta come back down with the wraparound method. The reason why is because you're putting yourself at risk when you're at the top. So I'm just gonna climb up halfway and we're gonna pretend like I'm at the top to demonstrate. Okay. So let's say I'm at the top right now. Okay. I cannot release the lock and then change to the, S method, uh, to the wraparound method. Okay, you're not allowed to do that. The reason why is because, well, you need your hand to touch the beam and you're putting yourself at risk. You're releasing the lock in your feet. So since I went up with the S method, now I gotta come back down with the S method. Okay, there it is, guys. I hope this was helpful. 
Good luck. 